Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What is one sexual lesson you've learned that everyone should learn sooner rather than later? Clean your ass. You can also do this without having sex. Pee after. For the love of God please. Having a ooty feels like peeing burning lava that is uncontrollable and one of the most painful things I've ever experienced in my life. Mine haven't been super painful but the urge to pee every minute is really annoying. Condoms are cheaper than diapers. Damn. I've been using diapers this entire time. I feel like an idiot. Foreplay is a part of sex. Arguably one of the more important parts. It's the most important part, specifically for women. Sex without foreplay is like trying to bake a cake in an oven that isn't plugged in. And then your spouse gets mad that the cake isn't baking when they won't even turn the dial. Also, stop thinking of it as foreplay. It's sex, just not PIV sex. It's not something you do to build up to the good bit. It's included in the good bit. Yeah, I agree. Everything people consider foreplay is just part of sex. I consider foreplay all the touching, cuddling, and dirty talk you do throughout the day that makes you so excited to hop into bed with your so. You don't need to be a jackhammer or go on for an hour. No jackhammering also applies when you're using fingers. My first boyfriend as a teenager used my crotch as a punching bag. Ouch. My vagina closed up just reading that comment. You don't always have to fuck her hard. In fact sometimes it's not right to do edit. Thanks for the cake day wishes, gentle fuckers. Shit way before. Be hygienic. Wear protection. Give more than you take. Instructions unclear. Shat two years ago and haven't had sex yet. You should probably shit again. ETA. Now you assholes can go fuck yourselves. Focus on making your partner feel good physically and emotionally. Everyone wins. Right before you go down on a girl ask her if she's comfortable. And accept any answer that comes. Even if it's a hard, no, I'm not. No attitude from us guys, no pouting, no pressure. Don't raw dog strippers from Trenton, New Jersey. Why on God's green earth would you go to Trenton in the first place skull and crossbones skull and crossbones skull and crossbones? To raw dog strippers. Try and keep up. Trenton is like the shadowy bit of the land that Mufasa warns Simba never to visit. You must never go there. So you're saying Newick is a go, though. As long as you pee after. If she starts moaning and squirming, don't stop or change what you're doing. This. I see so many self-centered people getting themselves off but getting the other person off isn't. Hard. Generally. Wander around their body. Pay attention. If they start moaning and squirming that's a big hint right there. Agree 100%. And would like to add that it's equally important to give feedback. Even if it's a bit staged. If you don't let your partner know what feels good. And what doesn't. You're asking them to find the treasure without a map. Might they find it anyway? Sure. But if you don't let them know they've found it. They may just pass on by and keep searching. Every body is different, which means your body is likely different than their past lovers. Sex should be a mutually pleasurable experience. Relax and do what comes naturally. Contradictory pieces of advice because I'm what comes naturally when I relax. It's okay. It's actually pleasurable when you only last 30 seconds carrot not carrot coping carrot at carrot all. What you see in porn is way off mark. Porn relates to sex is fast and furious relates to driving. Something to do with family. As a woman, learning how my body worked and what it needed to get off. It took me a while and all the while guys ask, what does it for you? And I wasn't being coy when I didn't answer. It was because I simply didn't know yet and I couldn't tell anyone how to do it if I didn't know. Myself. So yeah, that. I'm old. So I did most of my adventuring in the late 90s, early 2000s. One question I would always ask my regular partners was, do you masturbate? There was still stigma. Insert obvious joke here. Attached to this kind of thing back then especially for women, so they'd always say no. I'd reply that they should, because if they don't know how to pleasure themselves they have no chance of telling me what they like. It resulted in some very beneficial relationships. Times have changed for the most part and women seem to be much more confident in expressing themselves now, but there are still plenty of people trying to shame women over sex. So the message still bears repeating. Greater than is a woman, learning how my body worked and what it needed to get off. I really wish my wife would do this. It's frustrating to constantly be told, I don't know, when asking what a person enjoys, wants. My wife was like this too. I eventually just started looking up way women get off, not from porn. I read a bunch of forums. And would tell her, we're gonna try this tonight. Are you okay with it? Quote. Eventually we found a few things that made her body absolutely sing. It was great. Opened communication a lot in the bedroom. And we really connected more on an emotional level. Marriage is stronger now than it's ever been. Sex is just a game where both sides are trying to make the other side win. 
Relax and just have fun and it's so much better. A game where both sides are trying to make the other side win. Depends on the kind of person you are playing with. Give the woman a towel when you're done. Gotta say, good game, while tossing it as well, it's good etiquette. A dugout esque ass slap is never not appreciated. I prefer to send one in a gift basket the next day, much classier. Sex on the beach, just don't. It's wet. And that kind of cold that penetrates your fucking bones. And the sand gets in places you can't get it out. And you think it'll be romantic because you can see Denmark across the bay but it's not because it's pitch black and you're frightened that ghosts are in the trees. Very specific and possibly Swedish. He said seeing Denmark would be romantic, so definitely not Swedish. This was a bad experience so obviously Sweden. From a Dane smiley face. Stupid Swede how dare you fuck while looking at my country LMAO.